Welcome to Citrix Tech Insight, where we provide overviews of Citrix technology, features, and functions through technical insights and visual walkthroughs. In this Tech Insight video, we are going to focus on the security features of Citrix Workspace Environment Management, sometimes referred to as WEM. Security may not be the first thing you think of when you think of WEM, as it is a user environment management solution. However, some powerful security control features are included in WEM that bolsters the security posture and reduces the threat surface for your users within your virtual apps and desktops deployment. We will first start with Citrix WEM's process management feature. This feature allows Citrix administrators to control the processes that run on users' virtual desktops and, under the security context, allows administrators to allow or deny specific processes. Process management is enabled by toggling the Enable Process Management option. Once enabled, the Allow and Deny list are in effect. Administrators can now add processes by using the executable names, for example, CMD, EXE, exclude local administrator accounts from the Process Deny list, and even allow for specific user groups to be excluded. Processing the Deny list and the Allow list are mutually exclusive. By enabling the allow list and adding processes here, all processes are automatically denied if they are not included in the allow list. Here again, administrators can also exclude specific local administrator accounts or user groups so that they can run all processes. Citrix WEM application security allows Citrix administrators to control and restrict access to specific applications and resources within a virtual environment. With application security, Citrix administrators can set granular permissions for users and groups, determining who has access to specific applications and resources and what actions they are permitted to perform. This can include limiting access to applications based on user roles or departments and controlling the launch of applications based on the user's location or device type. One of the main questions regarding WEM security features is what is the difference between the process management and application security feature? Process management uses the Explorer function to restrict applications from running, so it only controls applications that are launched by Explorer. On the other hand, application security is a wrapper of AppLocker, a more powerful solution that can block or allow applications to run. Process management is easier to set up and configure, as administrators do not have to deal with the complexity of AppLocker. WEM provides several options for administrators to define security rules based on their use case. Blocking applications located in a specific folder and preventing users from copying files to other locations or renaming a file are just a few of the most frequently asked for use cases. Determining the target type, be it an EXE, COM, DLL, or any other supported target type is the first consideration when creating an application security rule. Once the target type has been determined, the blocking criteria should be considered next. For example, to prevent an EXE from running, an executable rule would be created. If the goal is to block the EXE based on folder location, blocking the EXE by folder path would be used. If, however, you want to prevent renaming the file, then hash type would be used. Two other features are worth mentioning here as well. The overwrite and merge mode is important in a multi-user use case. Imagine multiple users with different application security rules log into the same VDI. How would that be processed? In overwrite mode, the latter user's rule will always overwrite previous rules, whereas merge mode will merge the rules. So in a published application-only use case, you should consider using merge mode. There are three rule enforcement types for application security as well, on, off, and audit. On and off are simply an on and off switch. However, with audit enabled, we allow application security to run in auditing mode, collecting logs, and then allowing you to define rules based on the collected logs. Because DAZ and VDI often utilize shared resources across multiple users, we follow the principle of least privilege. However, users and applications have unique and sometimes complex requirements. Users might need to perform some function that requires additional rights to be effective. For example, users might need to run a command, PowerShell script, or a legacy Windows application installer that requires elevated permissions. With privileged elevation, an admin can grant elevated privileges for certain users to run an executable or installer, such as an EXE, an MSI, or an MSP file from a path, publisher, or hash target. 
A typical use case is when administrators prepare virtual desktops for new developers. Besides the well-known development tools such as Visual Studio, these developers may need many other software tools such as Postman or Notepad++ that the administrator may not be aware of and are required development tools to be effective. We solve this issue by allowing IT admins to define Windows installer rules for a specific folder, for instance the Downloads folder, and then define a time span within it. The end user is allowed to install any apps from the defined Downloads folder. WEM will record what apps are installed with elevated privileges so IT admins can review them afterwards. Administrators can still define application security rules to block apps if the installed application is not allowed. When viewing the Privileged Elevation pane, several options are available to administrators. With Process Privileged Elevation Settings enabled, administrators can choose not to apply the Privileged Elevation Settings to Windows Server OS and whether to force all executables to run under the current Windows account. In this case, users would not be prompted to run executables as administrators. The complete list of rules is also displayed here. The configured rules can be filtered by executable rules, which include files with .exe or .com extensions, or by Windows installer rules, which have files with MSI and MSP extensions. WEM's Privilege Elevation also supports self-elevation as well. Administrators can allow end users to elevate permissions for MSI, BAT, CMD, and others on demand. If admins need to limit what can be self-elevated, rules can be defined such as start time and end times. With Citrix Privilege Elevation capability, admins can keep the environment stable and secure while keeping the users happy and productive. Security risks to your application servers will generally come from the actions of your end users. An application published harmlessly could allow a user to start another risky application from it, putting your server and data at risk for a breach. The typical use case seen here is the launching of a script. When a script is launched by a command line shell, it is likely a normal activity. However, when a script is launched by a browser, it is likely a very dangerous activity. We cannot use application security or application management to define the rules. Thus, we need the process hierarchy control feature to help mitigate this risk by providing the ability to limit new processes to be started from specific parent processes. For example, when enabled within a Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktops or Citrix DAS environment, the Process Hierarchy Control feature can limit the processes started and published to end users, reducing the attack surface and protecting your servers from unexpected applications in your data from breaches. Administrators can enable Process Hierarchy Control within the WEM Security tab and allow rules to be configured and assigned to users or user groups for your Citrix Virtual Apps deployment. The ability to hide the Open With option from Windows right-click context menu can also be enabled here. Adding a new process hierarchy rule can be done through an easy-to-follow wizard. Within Process Hierarchy Control, click Add Rule. Once the Add Rule window is displayed, provide a name and description for the new rule, enter the path, publisher, and hash code, and then select either to add any child processes to the block or allow list. A process is subject to only one rule, so if multiple rules are configured, they are enforced in order of priority, which is set here in the priority section. Select the users or user groups to then assign the rule. Configuring Citrix Workspace Environment Management Security Control features can enhance your overall security posture by protecting your end users from malicious software and your corporate data from leaking.